Hi, this is Sean Gibbs with Beneath the Surface again. Today I want to talk about the Beneath the Surface Flex Arm line. We make flex arms for just about any strobe or video light that you can imagine in multiple lengths with different ways of attaching them to trays as well as different ends for different um, types of lighting. The first one that I'd like to show you is the way we mount the tray and the arm together. So our basic starting point is our BTS base mount. This will go right on top of the arm adapter and bolt with a standard quarter 20 screw that comes with the arm. Okay, That is the first version. The second version would be our no base mount which can bolt to the top of the tray handle or, bay or arm adapter. It could also go to the top of any tray like that. We can also mount it to a bridge bar. When you get this arm with no what we call no base, it's going to come like this, disassembled. So it allows you to bolt it in through the hole in the bottom. We provide you with the quarter 20 hardware to do so. All of our arms also have a safety cable. And this enables you, if for some reason you were to accidentally disconnect the arm, you could not lose your valuable lighting on the other end. The arms pop back together rather difficultly but they're able to be done underwater too so that is the no base version our third version is our ball mount end our ball mount end is kind of exactly how it describes it takes a standard ball mount and connects your flex arm via the standard ball mount this allows you flexibility and also gives you a little bit more freedom of movement with your arms. You can also use one of our triple arm clamps and mount dual lighting on each side using this type of arm. Our fourth style of mounting on the base end is our revolutionary quick disconnect for our flex arms. Our quick disconnect flex arm comes in two ways. This way with the quarter 20 threaded screw already attached and then the quarter 20 threaded end. This will attach to spaces like your bridge bar where you want to take and attach it to your bridge bar like that. This one will attach to any threaded hole like in the arm adapter. And it attaches just like that. And then you take your Allen wrench and you put your Allen wrench down inside and you tighten it up. You also want to probably use a little bit of silicone grease every time so you don't have any electrolysis going on. Now, the end of the quick disconnect arm fits into the female side of the quick disconnect simply by pushing in, lining up the slot, dropping down, slightly pushing and turning. This is a solid mount. You then can now use your flex arm any way you desire. To disconnect, you're going to push down on the pull, excuse me, pull down on the collar, turn counterclockwise one quarter of a turn and lift straight out. Just that simple. We have these in both three quarter inch and half inch. They take both of the same end, so you can use for your video lights or your strobes. This enables you to swat, switch back and forth between equipment depending upon the situation. Alright, 
Now that I've shown you how what your base ends look like, let me disconnect this one here. I will show you some of the other features of our flex pumps. All right. Now on the other end of our flex arm is where the lights mount. This particular one will work for the UK Light Cannon, Aquasun, and any of the other ones that have a dovetail side and removable handle on the light. This is our standard YS. This will work with just about anybody's YS style mounting, CNC, Olympus, um, Intova, and many others. This is our brand new universal mount. This universal mount will take any round light or even oblong light that is no bigger around than inch and a quarter down to three quarter. Like this um, big blue focus light, simply take and put the big blue focus light in Tighten it, tighten it down, tighten the screws, and you're good to go. This is our solar mount. This will take any solar light as long as the video light adapter is installed on the solar light with the D-ring. All our arms will attach to any solar light with these parts. Simply push onto the solar light and then once you've got the solar light on simply disconnect the quick link connect onto the D-ring tighten the quick link this keeps your valuable solar light from being lost this quick link is the lifeline of your solar light and you won't ever lose it on a BTS arm due to the security cable we have with inside. Now, on this arm, we have our cold shoe mount. Cold shoe mounts will go on top of any housing that has a cold shoe mount, which will allow you for focus lights or video lights. They will also work on the BTS cold shoe mount that goes onto any of our trays bridge bar and it operates in the same manner this will enable you to put a focus light on any of our double handled tray bridge bars last but not least if you have an Aquatica CNC not a cam housing with factory tray handles, we make an arm that will bolt to the top of your factory tray handles. Very simply with the provided screws, you're going to start one screw on one side, you're going to slide the arm in, you're going to start the other screw on the opposing side, move the arm slightly out of the way, using an allen wrench got to line the holes up excuse me a little hard to see here there we go get you line the holes up tighten down the screw move the arm to the other side tighten down the other screw and there you go you've got a BTS flex arm on top of your factory DSLR handle. I appreciate you watching our another, another video, and we'll see you next time. Thank you for watching, and dive safe.